a kitchen living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, a hallway, and a large terrace are all in a house of 60 square meter space you are about to see. Now this is a single story building of 6.5 by 9.5 with a terrace of 3.3 by 6.5. The heated area is about 52 square meters and the size of the terrace is approximately 22 square meters. The house is located in a settlement in which houses are designed in a similar style. The neighborhood is tranquil next to a forest and some beautiful nature. The house owners do not live here on a regular basis. They only visit this place at weekends and during vacations. There is a sauna on the site, as well as the second small barn-style house. There is a video about it I will show you later. This is a wooden house built by Timber Frame Technology. The exterior cladding is wood, planking. The roof covering are profiled sheets. Also, as you may have noticed, the house has an external design similar to barn house style. The walls and overall facades of the house are all dark colored. The house may seem too dark to some, but just take a close look at these shots now. Look at the trees all around. Look at the tree branches, the tree trunks, Look at the way the house looks against the forest. How does that make you feel? Feel free to write it in the comments. In my personal opinion, the house blends in with nature as seamlessly as possible. But getting ahead, I would like to note that the interior design of the house is very upbeat, luminous, and cozy. You would surely want to stay there for as long as possible. Another unique feature of the house I would like to point out, decisions on the terrace. First of all, it's closed, under a joint roof with the house. Secondly, the terrace is large enough to fit a lot of stuff. Thirdly, there is a full-height fence on the side of the terrace. That gives additional protection from wind, snow, and rain, and it also provides a kind of privacy. In general, I personally like the solution with the terrace and this blank wall. The outdoor furniture here, by the way, is homemade. The table is made of the remains of the kitchen tabletop, and the seats are made of pallets. It is time to check out the inside of the house. Going indoors, we first see is the hallway entrance. The glazed door makes the hallway look a little bigger than it really is. Then you walk into the lobby. The lobby is the connecting room for all other ones in the house. From here, you can get to the bathroom, to the two bedrooms, and to the kitchen living room. Recall that I said earlier that the interior of the house is upbeat. It is in the living room that it really is represented. First of all, the full wall panoramic windows, a large area of glass panels already visually can make any room more spacious. Secondly, light colored walls and a plank ceiling. In the third, vibrant highlights such as a blue sofa and a cozy yellow armchair with yellow poofs. And fourth, the high ceilings. The height inside up to the ridge is about three and a half meters. Here, the roof slopes shape the space inside the house. All of this together, I think, turns up your mood and lets you feel the atmosphere. Lots of small houses have a combined kitchen and living room, yet not all of them have a well-designed kitchen dining area. Here, in my mind, it is quite well done. See it for yourself. Yes, the kitchen living room is combined, but due to the zoning of the space, we theoretically have two rooms, the living room and the kitchen. One is a place to relax where you can watch TV or talk to family and guests. The other is a place to cook and eat. And what's more convenient is that there is an access to the terrace just from the living room. You can always go out, sit outdoors, having some fresh air, particularly in the warm season. You can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with the whole family on the terrace in an open air. 
As for this L-shaped kitchen layout, I think it's rather practical. It's practical because this extended part of the kitchen is facing the living room. It separates the kitchen from the living room, and there's a hob here too. You can fry something, cook, and chat up the family. The kitchen is equipped with everything you need. Fridge, sink, hob. As for kitchen furnishings, it also contains all the necessary kitchen utensils. The house is heated by underfloor heating system and electric convectors. The next room we move into is the bathroom. The size of the room is about four square meters. The size is not the smallest possible, which allowed to install a washing machine here. The other two rooms are the bedrooms. The first is a child's room of about 11 square meters. The second is the parents' bedroom of nine square meters. If I had to get creative, I would have the parents' bedroom in the previous one, because there's not enough room for two people here, and that kind of bedroom would be more comfortable for two people. The small room could also be turned into a room for one child. For example, you can put a bunk bed, sleeping space on the second level, and a desk and shelving cabinet on the first level. Put a small armchair near the window and a closet on the same level where it is now. My impressions of this house are very positive. Everything looks cozy and is in harmony. The furniture is well selected, the tones are friendly, the colors are pleasing. If we talk about the purpose of the house, it is a good option for a weekend getaway place. For a small family, such as two parents and a child, it is an acceptable option. Friends, click the like button if this video was interesting to you and leave your impressions on this house in the comments section. See you soon.